so welcome to my vlog um, glad you could all join me for this next adventure uh, this is my first long trip with the uh, the Honda SH 150 um, on any scooter or bike actually and um, I went about 1400 kilometers on a four-day trip down to uh, the Bruce Peninsula and back and uh, it was just a wonderful experience um, I took the back roads of Ontario, passing through a lot of uh, small towns, many of which uh, I had never seen before, and especially on a, uh, a scooter, um, seeing them like this, it's, it's the best, I believe. It's a slow, slower pace, um, you're open to uh, the wind and the uh, smells and the, the places as you go along, and... Uh, the kind of uh, variety of land landscape was uh, amazing and going through uh, the Canadian Shield uh, rocks, trees and water and then uh, into uh, miles and miles of farmland uh, and quite a ver variety of uh, different kinds of farms too. There were a few spots where uh, they had road work as usual in any place and uh, but uh, on the whole, it kept uh, moving along fairly well, and the uh, the Honda could uh, keep up quite well with the traffic, no problem there. This is uh, going through Gamebridge, which is uh, on the eastern side of Lake Simcoe, and um, this is where I pass over the uh, the Trent Canal, and uh, I looked it up after, and it's quite fascinating. That it goes for 386 kilometers which is about 240 miles and joins Lake Ontario at Trenton. This was, uh, this was a close call. Uh, all of a sudden we were all zipping along and then all of a sudden we came to a stop, but uh, I think this is probably why. Anyway, um, yeah, the, the Trent Canal goes from Trenton on uh, Lake Ontario to Lake Huron at Port Severn. And, um, it was. It took 87 years to build uh, a bit here and there. Um, uh, originally started um, because um, the uh, logging industry uh, wanted to use the uh, the roots for uh, moving logs, and uh, it eventually just became um, a tourism recreation type of uh, waterway. Um, over the over time, though, it was used for uh, you know steamboats, uh, grain handling, etc. Well, here I am at uh, Cypress Lake campground in um, Bruce Peninsula National Park and uh, at site 236. I was supposed to be here last night but I didn't quite make it before it got dark and I didn't want to set up in the dark. Uh, so I stayed uh, at a motel and then just continued on this morning, which was great because they had a great uh, um, jacuzzi kind of bathtub. I am at the campsite and I've just, uh, they just delivered a bear box. A little overkill for what I have, but uh, I might uh, actually stick the wood in there too. And I got some firewood for tonight and tomorrow night. Looks like a good chunk there. And uh, it's just a beautiful campsite. And uh, as long as nobody shows up across the, the street there at 2.35, um, it's gonna be quite uh, remote and on its own. Anyway, here the, his, this is how I packed up the, uh, the scooter for this trip. I stopped uh, and got some uh, g a little bit of groceries this morning and uh, just uh, put them under my my net on the top here so that uh, that worked out pretty good I just have had about an hour to drive this morning so uh, that worked quite well
Gonna make some bannock up. Be enough for uh, lunch and supper. This is a little bowl I picked up uh, at the dollar store. Uh, mainly because the the size of the uh, rim uh, was six and a half inches, which is the same as my little non-stick frying pan. So it has the potential of being used as a um, lid on the frying pan if I'm cooking something that needs a lid on. Last time I was camping, um, if you've watched my previous video, I bought the uh, the rock frying pan and uh, it worked uh, just perfectly for frying up the ban bannock. A little rock here to hold up the frying pan handle just in case we need it. So I'm heating up the oil and then what I'll do is uh, when it's nice and hot I'll put uh, half the mixture of bannock in. Another successful uh, bannock bake or fry and uh, it looks great and that's going to be for uh, to go with my supper tonight and uh, I'm going to be making up a really nice supper so stay tuned for that. Now I'm going to make a cup of tea not to start the uh, little stove off again and uh, sit with my tea and cookies. Okay, decided to take a little hike, seeing the day was uh, so nice and I've got some time this afternoon. I'm just going to hike up to uh, Georgian Bay and take a look at this uh, famous grotto. Well, there is still a little bit of uh, colour and uh, next to the blue sky it's just beautiful. This trail is quite nice. And a few people on it, but uh, not too many today. Wow. Just wanted to show you uh, a little piece of kit that I've had for for a few years, um, and uh, it's a uh, camper's traveler's coffee maker. And I'm gonna I'm heating up some water and I'm gonna make some coffee. I'll just show you uh, how this uh, piece of equipment works. Anyway, it, it comes in one uh, one little carry case. If I can get it out, be good. Good piece of kit, I'm just a plot. Anyway, um, comes in two pieces. You've got the filter part for the top and uh, cup. What you do is uh, put the filter on top of the uh, cup add some um, coffee and when the water is ready you can uh, let that uh, drip down and uh, fill your cup with uh, nice fresh coffee
Mmm, smells good already. Let me just cover that up and let, uh, let that make itself. Okay, another piece of kit I thought I'd uh, show you. Um, it's the uh, Genius Boost I've got from my crappy tire a while back. Uh, it has lights on it. Um, it can uh, you can plug a USB uh, into it to charge anything you want. Uh, so uh, I, the main reason I had it is to uh, boost the scooter if uh, if anything ever happened to the uh, the battery when it was out. Uh, but on in the, on this occasion, it's multi-purpose, and I'm going to plug uh, one of the GoPros in to charge it up. So I plugged it in with the cord that comes with the GoPro and it just turn the unit on and there you go, it's charging. I figured this time when I went camping I was going to put a little bit more effort into cooking. I've watched a few uh, videos um, from uh, Japan, Korea and when guys go camping over there at least these ones that made the videos um, they put a lot of effort into cooking And here I am, usually I go camping and uh, we'll open a can of beans or something, at least in the old days. Um, but I kind of like the idea of uh, making um, it almost an, an event. So I picked up some, uh, some uh, fast fry steak, some vegetables, I got onions, mushrooms, tomatoes. What I will do is cook the meat up. I will cook the cook the vegetables up. Mm, nice looking tomatoes. I also bought this um, cutting board in the dollar store. Amazing what you can get in a dollar store if you really uh, know what you're looking for. Start with heating up some oil, and that's heated up. We'll get going on the um, stir fry the meat, and then work on the vegetables. And uh, voila, there is my creation. Mmm, that is really good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Okay, I'm going to start with some tinder, which is lint from the dryer at home. Next I'll put some of the, uh, the shavings that I uh, made with the knife. And I'll put down some of the smaller kindling.
Good morning. And, uh, just heating up some water. I'm going to have some tea. A little cool this morning. And I warmed my hands against the uh, alcohol stove, which works great. Uh, as you can hear, it is so quiet here. There are one other uh, couple, older couple of campers. Just a few, a few campsites down, and uh, all I can hear from them is their uh, doors closing <laughs> once in a while on their van. It was kind of a rough night. Uh, my old uh, bones are uh, feeling the uh, feeling the strain of camping, and uh, even the hammock is not uh, working that great. So I'm going to have to. Uh, work on that uh, a solution to that for the next trip um, but anyway I'm planning a uh, little trip around the peninsula today the Bruce Peninsula go up to Tobamori maybe uh, go up to check out a couple of lighthouses and um, looks like it's uh, going to be a lovely day again, nice and warm. So after I have some uh, breakfast I'll uh, get my act together and uh, well, there's no rush but I'll uh, set up the camera and hopefully I can do some commentary as I ride around. Anyway, right now I'm going to have a nice hot cup of tea and a cookie, maybe cook up some eggs and oatmeal, whatever. So, here's to another good day. Looks like I'm going to be blessed with another beautiful day for riding as I leave the uh, the campsite. I've got the GoPros set up in a couple of different places, one on my helmet, one on my the front of my uh, my bike, as you can see, but it turns out that uh, the bike body itself shakes quite a bit, so a lot of the footage uh, wasn't uh, usable and uh, I actually uh, had one mounted on the top case at one point and uh, it was so uh, bumpy that uh, I, I just had to delete it after. So we're just about to leave the uh, Cypress Lake campgrounds where I was camped in the uh, Bruce Peninsula National Park and uh, headed s south on the 6th and now I'm going uh, down toward Cabot Head Provincial Nature Reserve. As I came down to this uh, little group of buildings and uh, saw the Lake Huron uh, open up before me, it was just uh, quite something. Just a beautiful uh, road into this uh, reserve. And although it was uh, a dirt road the whole way, it was, uh, it was quite well maintained and uh, there were a few potholes but uh, on the whole it was um, a great ride down here and especially nice on the scooter. I stopped a couple of times just to enjoy the view and uh, enjoying the ride and uh, there I saw one other uh, pickup truck uh, as I was leaving but other than that there was nobody down here it's so peaceful and just quiet and uh, just hear the lapping of the the water on the shore I thought this sign was pretty good snakes and turtles as you can see, the uh, the road to the uh, the lighthouse at the end of Cabot Head 
was uh, closed for the season so unfortunately uh, I didn't get to see that on the map it looks really cool down there so I'll have to come when in uh, when it's open and uh, this road was uh, off to the side uh, and uh, private so that was closed and unfortunately I couldn't go down there either so I headed back up north to uh, or, or west along the 6 to Tobermory at the end of the Bruce Peninsula. Uh, this time of year um, this area is pretty dead. Uh, it was very quiet but um, during the summer this is uh, this is the uh, area where uh, Fathom 5 National Marine Park is located offshore. Lots of diving, lots of shipwrecks to uh, explore. Um, but right now it's uh, it's quite quiet. So I headed back to uh, camp after a great ride around the area. And uh, back to my campsite. Those are the uh, the washrooms. Toilet and there's a sink outside and somebody else had moved in across the road but they were they were very quiet so that was uh, good unfortunately during the night um, there were some uh, revelers anyway I was uh, pre prepare for my next uh, wonderful gourmet supper of course it includes bannock again And my trusty uh, belt knife, preparing uh, vegetables. I picked up uh, some food down at the local store in Tar Tobomori. There wasn't much of a choice, but there were these colorful uh, peppers, sweet peppers. So uh, I thought they'd make a, a colorful meal. And uh, cooked everything up on my alcohol stove and my uh, rock frying pan just the right size for a one person and I'd re recommend it to anybody nice long stick and I used uh, wooden utensils so I use the chopsticks a lot so I wouldn't uh, damage the uh, the non stick stick surface and there's my trusty uh, dollar store bowls that become covers and uh, bowls and lids and whatever else I don't know, uh, I guess after seeing uh, a lot of the uh, Asian uh, camping moto vlogs, uh, they're eating with chopsticks and uh, I, I actually like to eat with something other than metal uh, cutlery because it kind of tastes better. And this was really good too. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me and uh, as I leave with a mouthful of Bannock, hitting the road early in the morning the next day to head back. And um, the, the drive back was amazing as well. It took the whole day to get back. Uh, it's about a seven hour trip. But um, one thing I found out about the uh, SH-150i is it's uh, very comfortable even for a long trip good on gas, comfortable, easy to ride, keeps up with traffic. For right now it's uh, my perfect vehicle. Thanks for joining me and I uh, hope to uh, see you again in the next video.